Welcome to Specify. This video is a brief overview of the interface in Specify 6. At the top of the window, we have the menu bar. This is pretty typical of most programs with clickable menus and varying items underneath depending on the menu that you click. This will look a bit different on a Macintosh system with the icon being clickable and things such as preferences under that rather than under file. Under the menu bar is the taskbar. These are a set of buttons with the tools needed to perform the tasks within Specify. The taskbar works in correlation with what we call the sidebar. The sidebar is a list of the elements for the tool displayed right at your fingertips. I want to point out here that the sidebar is configurable by clicking tabs in the menu bar and configure sidebar. So for instance, if I am not going to be using my geography form today and I don't want it to take up space on my sidebar, I will put it under the more forms button and voila, it disappears from my sidebar. However, it is still accessible under my more forms button. So what I have done is clicked on data in the taskbar to open up a list of forms on my sidebar. And now I am going to open one of those forms in what we call the workspace. The workspace is where most of the work is going to be performed. For instance, the forms will open here for your data entry. It will also display your reports and the results of queries and simple searches. You may have noticed when I clicked to open my collection object form that a tab at the bottom of the window also opened. This is called the tab bar. Up to 11 tabs can be opened at one time, however only one can be active at a time. You can toggle between the tabs by simply clicking on them, or close a tab by clicking on the red X. Underneath the tab bar is what we refer to as the status bar. On the right hand side of the status bar is a display of the discipline, collection, and the current user. This information can be important when collection managers are sharing a workstation. Next to the username is an icon for security and mine is telling me that security is off because my padlock is still open. On the left hand side of the status bar, Specify will give status reports. Anytime you're performing a task in Specify, it's important to keep an eye on the status bar and make sure that Specify isn't telling you something about the task you're performing. An example message might be an invalid data entry if you're trying to save a form and Specify is not allowing you to. This completes the overview of the interface of Specify 6. Thank you for watching.